Hey you two friends. I had someone ask me about my antenna that I mentioned. And this is what I got for my shortwave if, for my ham radio. Basically for the ham radio. Because when I listen to shortwave I just use a little indoor antenna. But I got this fiber pole, fiberglass, that's extendable. I got it up about 20 feet. And it goes into this I'll point it out. The sleeve, PVC sleeve. I got that tied to the to the uh, porch, you know. And what I plan to do is to cement this into the ground eventually. And I I, I got the wire. Well, that's the lower wire. I hope you can see that. See, I have insulators there. I got an insulator on top and it's tied with bungee cords to give it flexibility and then the wire this is the lower wire and I can make it a little tighter if I want and that goes it's probably about 10 feet off the ground but I could get a little tighter I just got a little slack in it now and that goes way back and then it goes to this tree way back in the yard. Farthest tree I could get. And what I did was I threw a line up using a fishing pole. Went way up into this poplar tree. Let's see if I could show that. It's that really tall tree there. So I went way up in there. If you look real close, you might be able to see the wire. And I say it's like a like 70, 75 feet up maybe, 70 feet maybe. It's pretty high, but I threw it up with a weight on the end of the fishing line. Then I pulled a, like a, a cord through it. Then I pulled the wire through it. I did it progressively because the wire was heavy. And then that goes across. And then it slopes, and it goes to the, the top of my pole over where the house is. You know, then it slopes down. Let's see, you might be able to see the two wires here. And then when it gets to the porch, what I do is I, um, I just make one wrap around the top of the porch pole. Just, just one wrap, and I found out that I have some extra wire there that I should trim, but I haven't really been using transmitter yet, uh, not too much. I did talk to New Mexico on the transmitter, and I was listening yesterday to um, uh, Prince Edward Island, a ham radio guy out there. Yeah. But um, I found out that when I wrapped the wire too many times around, I caused, I made an inductor, and it was killing my power. So I just made like one one quick turn around there and then it goes in that groove. It goes in the groove there on top of the porch. See I'll show you. So I just made one quick turn to hold it and it's in that groove. Now when storms come I just unwrap that turn and I let the wire come down. And then the wire comes down, and then, um, you know, it's not going to get busted if a tree starts swaying or anything. But I got it kind of loose right now anyway. And then, in the flower bed here, I, I pounded in a, uh, I have a video on this. I pounded in a ground rod about six feet down. And I have a, um, a, a device there that... that well, it's like a lightning suppressor, but it's a gas-filled tube, and when the it picks up like a, a nearby lightning strike, that tube will ionize, and it'll it'll short the antenna out to ground, and uh, that's to protect radio if there's like some kind of nearby strike, but a direct strike on the wire would probably vaporize the wire, and uh, so why worry about that? I guess. And then what I did was I just. 
have the connector there, I just put it on like a quarter inch piece of plywood. And I tried using the, like something like Lucite, but it kept cracking. So I just put it on plywood for, for now. And that's low loss foam cable. And I got that from some guy called the Wireman in a Super 8 low loss cable. There's the number there. And then what I do with that cable is run it, I simply run it, I open the window a crack and shove it in the window. Now I don't use the ham radio a lot, but I'm going to start using it. And what I'm going to do here is drill a hole in the house. This thing's an external speaker, by the way. This mushroom looking thing. I'm going to drill, drill a hole through the house, put connectors on there. But right now what I do is, when I'm done using it, I just shove the wire back out of the window. And this is good too, I'll tell you why, because let's say a big thunderstorm came, like really bad weather, I could just take the cable, I could just like fling it right into the yard, and there's no chance of any electricity or lightning coming into the house at all. And that's why I use the, the fiberglass extendable to pole too because I didn't want to hook anything directly to the house so it's away from the house and all that and that's just for like safety then I could take it down if I want so that's all what that's all about so that's basically what I got for antenna and I just wanted to mention it again I got a video I made about a year ago on that but I had someone ask me about the antenna and that's what I got so, take it easy, folks. Have a great day. Bye.